Anyway. Uh, so now I'll have to talk about, like, a uh, porn games and something like that. Because, of, like, it, it was kind of, like, tangentially brought up in, like, uh, Arts and Humanities. So, too. Hey, there we go. Porn. Arts and Humanities. Even though the Democratic Party platform does not have, like, a section on porn games. But they are have a section on, like, D.C., Puerto Rico territories. I wonder if, like, Hawaii gets a vote to be independent of the United States of America, because, again, they were kind of pretty much invaded as well, too. But let's get to you. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris and the Democrats have made historical investments in Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, use of Virgin Islands, Guam, and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and America Samoa. They delivered millions of poor infrastructure, semiconductors, clean energy, and transportation projects, and creating thousands of good jobs. Yeah, they want bases in those places. That's why those places exist. Same thing with uh, Hawaii. Hawaii was would have been like easily a territorial commonwealth as well too. Oh, but not a state as well too. I just don't remember wasn't like led it to become a state as well too. Oh, and but like that's why we had a base on Hawaii because like we wanted as a naval base. Uh, so continue on. Uh, Democrats reject the unequal like treatment of residents of like the D.C., uh, uh, Puerto Rico, and the United States territories. Uh, we unequivocally support statehood for D.C., which its residents overwhelmingly support, uh, but Republicans block uh, from even getting a vote in the Senate. That's because like if the if the state the D.C. does get statehood and stuff like that, the Republicans like lose some of their power because that would be like two uh, new sen two blue senators most likely because like Washington uh, the District of Columbia is a uh, most are like heavily densely populated there's a lot of black people in the dc and black people do not vote for republicans the one rare black person that votes for trump or votes for republican is there but yet we actually like recruit a large amount of like people from those territories into the military service yeah exactly kane and yet, because, like, they're, like, territories, uh, they are not U.S. citizens, despite serving the U.S. Army. I remember John uh, Oliver, like, uh, covered the U.S. territories. And why they remain as territories instead of national state? Just flat-out racism. Flat-out white supremacy. Just, yeah. Um... And, and yeah, the reason why the Republicans are blocking the statehood for like no, they join the service to earn. Oh, that's right. That's honestly uh, okay. That's like honestly how the Starship Troopers honestly, the the how the Starship Troopers made the distinction from civilian and citizen. Hey, at least the movie again. I always say this. At least the movie Starship Troopers recognizes it was a satire. Sadly, the book Starship Troopers did not. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I've like, um, <laughs> hey, would you like to know more? But like, yeah, if like a, a DC becomes like a state, it will be most likely be a, a blue state, and there will be two more like blue senators, which would like uh, affect the balance of power in the Senate as well too. And Thuckles don't want that because like, yeah. And also, like, if there's electoral voice for, like, the, the D.C. as well, too, they'll always go blue. It won't be much, though, but still. Um, the first movie is so good. The first, um, there's a lot of blood and violence in that one. Some nudity and sex as well, too. Oh, and, but yet, how that movie was advertised, it earns an R rating, so be mindful of that, if that's a problem for you. I mentioned there's probably a lot of, like, stuff that flew over it. Oh, probably, honestly. Um, but, uh, <laughs> But how that movie Starship Troopers was advertised, it basically was advertised as like and as marketed as the the next Star Wars. So they were my dad knew co-workers that brought their kids to like start to watch Starship Troopers. And like my dad's co-worker had then a hot problem with all the violence in like uh, in Starship Troopers, including like someone being like chopped in half, essentially. Um but uh, up my flag more states than <laughs> oh my god that's right gates i'm like arguing that like it will ruin the flag of the united states of america they're like the united states of america flag as it is right now it was never always the same they always added more stars whenever they do there was a like, brief period in like the 1959 where like alaska was a state but hawaii has not alaska became a state in like uh, january 1959 alaska uh, hawaii did not became a state until like august of that year Come on, people. Those people just don't want change, honestly. But yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so my oldest brother was working at the movie theater when he was in high school when that movie came out and had to had to resist talking to parents who were dragging their crying five-year-old out of the movie theater for Starship Troopers. I already movie. And again, my dad's co-worker, his, you know, are you watching the trailer for like the, yeah, I remember that trailer you seen the blurs on number two. Yeah, they did. I mean, admittedly, it was a big fucking now because it was so long ago as it was still a child. Yeah, exactly. But no, yeah, my father, my father's co-worker did not have a problem with all the violence that his children were solving from that movie. He was just like, did not expect the mixed sour sheen. Again, no problem with all the violence in the movie that was earned its own rating. I mean... Um, it, the decapitation and all the gore and stuff like that. But the nudity was a problem. And also sex. Yeah, exactly. Hey, but no, like, my oldest brother had to resist telling, like, a mother who was dragging their five-year-old crying son, a uh, crying child out the movie. Theater. See, this is why I know the way you do movies. You always act like this. That five-year-old kid just saw someone go be cut in half. Meanwhile, in Canada... Mm -hmm. Uh, but speaking, yeah, but not speaking of Canada, speaking of like um, uh, United States and their and their territories and Commonwealth, uh, Democrats have recognized that the people of Puerto Rico have like earned and deserved to resolve the political status questions. For this reason, Democrats support the enactment of the Puerto Rico Status Act, uh, HR two twenty seven fifty seven, and promote full civil and political representation for Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Uh, we will work to end its unequal treatment by the federal government and fight to provide equal access to federal programs like Medicaid, SNAP, and like CTC. Democrats reject Trump's failed response to like uh, Hurricane Maria, which devastated Puerto. Puerto Rico and will ensure that the federal government responds to disasters in Puerto Rico as urgent as it would be anywhere else in the country. I don't remember when that happened. Decapitation? Uh, rating 14A. What? Sex? R oh, rating? X rating? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, see, uh, I can tell. So, so, in the USA, so I did actually saw the documentary film. Uh, this film is not yet rated. It was all about the MPAA, the Motion Pictures Association in America. That's the association that like gives like the USA movies its rating of like G, PG, uh, PG thirteen and R. The only difference between like a PG thirteen and R is that like if there's violence in a PG thirteen movie, it can never show blood. Once it shows enough blood, then it becomes R rating. As well as like decapitation, like slicing off the limbs and like um, and gore or something like that. But it's kind of like it's how much blood is shown, and they can only show some amount of blood, but very little blood in a PG thirteen movie. But if they show like to they, they show enough blood or just like show a lot of blood, they will show uh, uh, that the uh, blood becomes R. I should like update the hats command to include like there's a channel for proper themes with hats, so that way people don't have to like uh, donate money to me if they want me to change my hats. That's how it feels to me. The first Resident Evil movie, which was all right in America, has a 14A rating sticker slap on it from Canada. Well, because of stuff like that, anyway. Yeah. Oh, you know, last I checked, that uh, you can drop one f bomb in a PG-13 movie as long as it's not used in a sexual uh, reference, it's like "oh fuck" or it, "it is fine." Fuck you is not. Yeah, exactly. Maybe "fuck you" is fine, but "I want the fuck you" is not fine. That's where to draw the line. But again, it's only one f bomb. So even like the last one of the last Die Hard movies, with Die Hard movies that was PG-13, but they are allowed to get away with one yippee motherfucker and only one. Uh, yeah, Die Hard being PG-13, so strange. But, like, you cannot... I, people don't want to, like, make r rated movies. Deadpool was, like, one of the few exceptions. Um... And, and yeah, uh, so... Uh, and, th yeah, once the, the F word is used in a sexual sense, and then, yes, it's absolutely an r rated movie. And... Now, you know the movie, The Merchant of Venice? Yeah, Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. There was a movie of it. Uh, sorry, uh, Al Pacino. A great movie. I know. I recommend that as well, too. Um, also starred uh, Jeremy Irons and, like, uh, Joseph Fiennes, the guy from, like, uh, Shakespeare in Love. Uh, I, I, I love that. I thought the movie was really good. And... Yeah, maybe even fuck you isn't... Um, X-Men First Class. Uh, Professor Charles Cavers and... I forgot his, like, name, but, I know, but Magneto. 
walked up to Logan in a bar because they were trying to find other mutants. Uh, this was the origins of X Men as well too. Um, uh, Mr. Logan, we would like to talk to you about something. Fuck you. I think he said fuck you in that scene. I could be wrong. Um, and that was like in when I'm watching the Sash Critic too, like in his bum review and something like that. Um, eh, Mr. Logan was like fuck you. I mean, we can't say. Oh, it was fuck off. You're probably right. Where's my cursor? Okay, you probably are all right. Fuck off. It was probably fuck off, not fuck you. You're probably right. If it says fuck you, it's R-rated. If it's like fuck off, it's like you can't say it. Or like say motherfucker. <laughs> uh, what did it say? Hold on. Uh, bullying. Yeah, it was held because of bullying. Because fuck off is uh, kind of bullying. <laughs> And, I mean, other times, I don't know why Automod will help things, like, beat his deck was help for sexual content as well, too, and it was like, what the, what the okay, fine. Hmm. Yeah, motherfuckers, yeah, you're right, actually, motherfuckers not often around. Oh, this one, too. I guess it's because of the origins and have the such worry, but there's also those who, that complain about, like, people overuse, like, swear words and such. Oh, yeah, if you, if the F words used way too many times, it's like, the old movie becomes R. Uh, another movie where it's, like, it's somehow R is Merchant of Venice. The only reason they list that, like, that movie's R is some nudity. Basically, there's a brothel. And there are scenes where, like, they, like, go into the brothel to have discussions and that sort of thing, do, And women are topless there, too. Or women have their breasts exposed. And that's it. You see, you see well, women's breasts in, like, uh, Merchant of Venice. Because it was only, and because, and because it was not isolated to just one scene, unlike in Titanic or, like, uh, Day Best, um, and uh, I guess in the context of the brothel as well, too, uh, that was enough for the Merchant of Venice to be R-rated. Some nudity, R rated. Yeah, some of like violent movies are PG 13 because, like, they managed to, like, get away with that as well, too. I think Deep, uh, Deep Sea Impact, that silly movie where the sharks got smart and started attacking, I think that was a PG 13 movie. I could be wrong. Uh, correct me on that. Anyway, okay, but back to, like,. Uh, Oh, okay. That's fine, King. Yeah. Okay, now, okay, back to, like, Puerto Rico. Uh, let's see. Back to this document on, like, the uh, uh, Democratic uh, Party, like, uh, platform. Let's see if, like, I can actually finish, finish, like, Chapter 6, honestly. Um, uh, yeah, but Trump's failed response to the Hurricane Maria, which devastated Puerto Rico, and will ensure that the federal government's presence of disaster in Puerto Rico is as urgent as it would be in anywhere else in the country. Uh, when disaster uh, does stri strike, uh, we will speed access to recovery to help rebuild, and we will um, build on the administration's investment to invest in further energy, infrastructure, economic development, education, healthcare, housing, energy, and climate from resilience. We will help a re re uh, re re restructure. I'm about to say reconstruct, but it's just like my brain knows, like, no, reconstruct is not the right word and stuff like that. And I, I did struggle, struggle to remember that it's re 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 restructure. Restructure. We will help restructure like Puerto Rico's debt to relieve its debt burden, and we will work to dissolve the federal oversight and management board. Just forgive the fucking debt. Who does Puerto Rico own a debt to? No, seriously, who's Puerto Rico on debt to? Who, the, who does the like, USA own a debt to? Are we like trillion dollars in debt? Who do we own the debt to? Jupiter? The Decepticons? Also, I meant like uh, people complaining about the overuse of the zones and the downing, like uh, swear words, and the like. And I'm like, don't care, we'll swear as much as I like. Yeah, exactly. The Boogeyman, yeah. I'm sure USA owns a, like a debt to a lot of people. Couldn't they at least? But like, who uh, Puerto Rico owns a debt to? Like Haiti. I think Haiti. I wonder if Haiti still owns a debt to France because like uh, the slave revolt to happen. In order for the country of Haiti to be like found, they like had a, they, they like were like slaves that had like, successfully have an uprising and like dispose of their like slave owners, and that's how the country of Haiti was found. Um, hey, having a great time visiting, like, the Amazon Grand Bell. Uh, he started, like, the Canadian Association for the Deaf, as his, like, wife lost his uh, hearing at the age of five. Oh, that's interesting. 
Puerto Rico owns a debt the in so Puerto Rico owns a debt the in the U.S. So like the so the U.S. like other banks and like the fucking Ameri World Bank and like the IMF. I mind you, I hate those organizations as well too with a passion. They are just like going. They're so soundly in like Puerto Rico with debt as well too. And now they're supposed to be able to pay it off as well in debt. Come in, work a second job. Why do they, so they were working to relieve the debt and like the structure of the debt, restructure the debt and relieve the debt burden and stuff like that. How about you just fucking forgive it? Also, I know that the one country that I always like hear Americans yell about owning debt to is China. Yeah, exactly. All of that, that's that's reef. I don't know. I'm poorly informed. I mean, and on like Puerto Rico. I mean, can we just forgive it? I figure you did mention Alexander Graham Bell uh, Museum. Um, remember and say, yeah, because Alexander, I know that Alexander Graham Bell, he's the guy who invented the telephone. Or it's like, and, and the fact that, like, his like, wife is deaf also doesn't matter to me. Oh, of course, the fear that like, China's going, like, a storm in and dead over because uh, apparently that means China owns the uh, U.S. Uh, in America, I guess. I mean, I do have my issues with China, absolutely, because, like, it's like, um, kind of don't they technically don't have elections unless there's elections that happen internally in the communist party of china and it's like i except china calls himself a communist country and i just like have my quibbles with that too oh then oh there there's also like a bunch of like labor practices and labor rights is like abysmal uh in like china as well too so let's not remember that so i guess like i don't want china to control the usa either Honestly, hey, and like I said back to the previous conversation, I want the land back. I want the, like the, the the return to like the land that the USA is currently on to the indigenous people that that were kind of in the way in the way that like they've been lived here for generations and generations long before white people got here that they kind of like have more rights in the land as well. China the, China is developing their own their infrastructure and material otherwise at a rapid rate. They're manufacturing most of the stuff in the world. I fear China has like I I. The fury of China has merit. Yeah, no, 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 I agree. Yep, his family started up in like a sort of national dream rapid. Oh, I see. Yeah, about a question that and it at like China storming in run, uh, running everything immediately because of some random ass like debt uh, because I don't think that's how it works. I mean, oh, that'll be interesting if like uh, basically America is controlled by China in some way or like nor for us to do anything like that and we have to get approval from the Chinese Communist Party. Huh. That'll be a weird future, though. Like I can imagine as well, too. But anyway, um, but the, for sure, like the USA, it's a fear of like the Chinese. Uh, basically, the American hand shown the or American supremacy around the world, and it becomes China's supremacy and Chinese um, hegemony around the world. That's what China is doing, definitely for sure. Um, the thing with this is we pay off our debts, which means we give China trillions of dollars a year, which in turn they use to make themselves more powerful, blah, blah, blah. I, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I can understand why, like, the USA's resistance to doing that as well, too. But anyway, um, poor, the, the USA should forget the debt to Puerto Rico as well, too. Honestly, if you ask me. Um... But, but no, at like the beginning of the death of the first half thousand years, that's what David Graybird and like uh, other activists that they, he was working with at the time it, like advocate for, for all those like um, uh, other uh, countries in like the global south, uh, like Africa, South America and other places, something like that. They were for like forgive the debt program, just forgive the debt as well too. So that's why I say to lie for USA to Puerto Rico, just for, for, forget Puerto Rico's debt. Don't like restructure it, just forgive it. Continue on. Democrats also support the self-determination of the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, Com and Commonwealth of North Maria Islands and America Samoa. We will create a congressional task force to like the study equal voting rights and like uh, House of Representatives, and will like work to ensure equal access to federal programs like uh, veterans benefits, the Affordable Care Act, Medicaid, SNAP, uh, SNAP food assistance, and all those uh, and for all those eligible. It's kind of like the Democrats saying, oh, wait, we own and control those places? Oh, yeah, China is absolutely still imperialist, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not saying that, like, Chinese imperialism is preferable to American imperialism, because I think all imperialism is bad. As the U.S. territory, Arctic, and Puerto Rico never, never should have like, been in debt to us in the first place, as though, or, 
as they are our responsibility to ensure their like prosperity. And Greek Kane, absolutely. It's and uh, I've been reacting to like this statement of how like Democrats want to ensure that like uh, Guam, uh, the Northern uh, Murray Islands, American Samoa, and the use of Virgin Islands and all these uh, territories and all like that get access to all those things as well too. It's kind of like, oh wait, we're responsible for you people. Um, uh, uh, here you go. Here's the stuff that we're don't really give to like the people here or something like that but here's the access to the same kind of access that those people have it's terrible as shitty something like that but it's better than nothing um yeah uh continue on a democrat support funding to like improve uh, critical health facilities in the territories including uh, con uh construction of a uh, state of the yard uh, medical complex in guam that uh, co locates health uh industries on a single campus for more a uh, more integrated the health care system what uh, that will benefit the region we will also invest in like ending disparities in agriculture economic development educational development energy health care housing and infrastructure uh, and help the u.s territories diversify their economies we will help them recover from natural disaster and we will invest in expanding clean energy and water system to be more resilient um if you're also doing that like here too then yes do that over there as well too i mean just improve them as well too since like it's yeah but like i can't say with puerto rico since like it port those places are our responsibility because we own them as well too we should like provide for them whatever we can And it's up to us to like make sure they're prosperous. And that's because it, the Democrats want those places to be prosperous. Uh, the U.S. is a two-party state. One party more than and and what this the what the worst government is. I mean, I don't know how much I want to say what is the worst government period as well too. Um, I still have my issues with the two-party like system here in the United States of America. It's honestly, in my mind, it's a duopoly as well too. There are differences as well as or distinctions between two parties as well too. Oh, um, because like the there is like the conservative capitalist party of the Democrats and then the fascists. So there is important distinction there as well, too. But it's just like when it comes to like you enforce policy and like immigration policy or economic policies, it's kind of like the Democrats are better, only slightly better. But it's also about like how they talk about those things. The Democrats are more presidential as well. It's basically what it is. Um... And Democrats are still too terrible off for things like uh, similar to like what Trump will do too, but like uh, Democrats will do it well. De Democrats will do it uh, presidentially, and won't be embarrassment to like the rest of the countries. Uh, could you? Uh, Democrats support reimbursing like U.S. territories a uh, uh, for more migration costs. Uh, including restoring Medicaid uh, eligibility for legal migrants under the uh, Compact of, of Free Associations. Uh, Democrats will continue to recognize the like, sacrifices and honor the, contribut and the contributions of the, of the residents who suffer because of their U.S. nationality during like the Japanese occupation during World War II. That's why we were, that's why those places are territories of us as well, too, because we have naval bases there. So that we can attack Japan or like well, whoever else that we want to, Vietnam, Korea. Uh, sorry, you were associated with us, so like these people don't like us, and so you were had like occupied by these people because of your association with us. Sorry about that. Uh, continue on. Uh, Democrats also recognize that like uh, 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 millions of U.S. citizens live abroad and will. Well, yes, because those, those. Those, because like Guam, the Virgin Islands, uh, the Northern Mira Islands, and America are part of the USA. They are U.S. citizens too. Are they not? Um, so separating the U.S. citizens is basically born in the contiguous United States as well too, and you happen to live there. That's okay. So I see, yeah. So they are not citizens if they're part of the U.S. territories. Yep, I figured that was the case. Continue on. We will consider their like unique circumstances and challenges when shaping policy. We will work to protect their like voting rights and ensure they're able to participate in the democratic process here at home. Yeah. There you go. A denomination of classes in that way. And look at that. If they become states, they would become citizens and have the same rights as we do. So yeah, it basically is like 
so yeah, the, so the people who live on Guam, the U, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Nor uh, the U the Northern Mariana Islands, and the American Samoa are basically second class citizens. Then, not that I'm surprised about that, or I didn't know that as well too. Yeah. Outro video time. Yes, this time I'm actually making an outro video instead of just having text up here. So if you like the video. Press the button to give it a like. Helps out the video as well, too. And if you dislike the video, that button is there, too, as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Helps the algorithm. It helps the video out of the way. Uh, you can also leave a comment if you disagree with something that I said, or you just want to say, hey, I like this video, or something like that. That will help out the video as well, too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as well, too. Um, this, yep, getting those up, numbers up always helps as well, too. And uh, also, don't forget to share around the video, too, like always your friends uh, all your enemies on the social medias and be like hey check this out or listen to this or will you check out this person that's uh, rambling about so many different things yeah that will help the video as well too and also over on the sides of my face right now or covering face as well too should be like the buttons for like over no, no over here for like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also social justice out me if you haven't checked out that like uh the channel it's a weekly uh live stream show the youtube live stream show that I, I i'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends a bunch of other anarchists and leftists and socialists to talk about like current events news uh politics feminism anarchism socialism communism and various other things even cats even like pop culture as well too and over on like the of here should be uh some videos as well too for like that i recommend you check out as well or it's over here i don't know it around my face there should be those buttons that you can click on as well too all right thank you for watching